The assassination attempts, the first one, is in Butler, Pennsylvania. And you write about watching the assassination attempt on TV. And you started working. And you were distracted, so you pushed pause. So you didn't see that first assassination attempt. And someone called you. I think your chief of staff maybe called you and said, he's okay, but there's been a shooting. What happened next? I, I ran to the TV, and uh, I rewinded it. And I watched it. I was only a few minutes behind. And um, something, I guess, um, looked over me. So I didn't really see live, live, but maybe, you know, three minutes, few minutes later. But when I saw it, I, you know, it was only nobody really knew yet. Right. Because when you see him uh, on the floor and... You don't know, you don't know what really happened. Donald Trump will return to Pennsylvania next week to hold his first rally in the town where he was shot at in an assassination attempt. A bipartisan report has found the Secret Service failed to make clear decisions in the lead up to the shooting earlier this year. Take a look at what happened. Multiple foreseeable and preventable failures allowed a would-be assassin to fire multiple shots toward former President Donald Trump during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania back in July. It's a tragedy of errors, just one after another. The preliminary bipartisan Senate report found failures at nearly every level ahead of the shooting, including no clear chain of command, no coverage plan for the building where the shooter fired from, no single line of communication, and equipment failures. When you have human error, you fix it by replacing the humans. The Secret Service responded to the report saying many of the insights gained from the Senate report align with the findings from our mission assurance review and are essential to assuring that what happened on July 13th never happens again. The report comes just a day after a second would-be assassin who allegedly plotted to kill Trump at one of his Florida golf clubs was officially charged with attempting to assassinate a presidential candidate. There is significant evidence that not only did he plan this for a very long time, but he took what is called a substantial step towards carrying out this plan. Yeah. So it seems like a very open and shut case on the factual right. side of things. And that's not all. The Trump campaign now says it was briefed by intelligence officials about, quote, real and specific threats from Iran to assassinate Trump. The House is also investigating these plots against Donald Trump and is scheduled to hold its first public hearing tomorrow.